skin worms devour my body, yet in my flesh I shall I see God. He said, mine eyes shall behold him and not another. I'm going to see him. Amen. Face to face one day. Paul said, now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. I'm so glad of that. Hebrews chapter number 3, if you've got your Bibles, amen. Hebrews chapter number 3. Garney uh, mentioned about the word but in the scripture. And I'm, amen, that ain't but a three letter word. And it's got a whole lot of uh, weight with it. But I'm going to preach on a word that's shorter than that. It's got a whole lot of weight with it. Amen. Hebrews chapter number 3. And uh, we'll start reading in verse number 12. You do pray for me today. I want to give you what the Lord has given me. What He's laid on my heart. Woke up Thursday morning. I guess it was, or maybe Friday morning, and God uh, began to deal with me about this, this two-letter word here, and uh, amen. It's, there's a lot, of, a lot of this word in the Scripture, and uh, so I want to do my best to give you what the Lord has laid on my heart. Hebrews 3 and verse number 12, the Bible said, Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But ex- now notice he said, brethren, in verse number 12, but exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you uh, the, let be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin, for we are made partakers of Christ, if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. That's all that I'm going to read today. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for letting us be here in the house of God. Uh, Lord, one more time, God, we I uh, thank you, Lord, for this Lord's day. And uh, Lord, I thank you, God, for uh, Lord, the Sunday school teaching. I thank you, Lord, uh, uh, for the good singing, God, most of all. Uh, uh, Lord, for the good spirit of God, uh, uh, Lord, that we've uh, uh, felt here today. And God, uh, I pray now that you would hide me, uh, uh, Lord, behind the cross today, uh, and Lord, that you'd anoint me, uh, uh, God, unworthy as I am, uh, uh, Lord, to preach your word, uh, and God, I pray today, uh, uh, you'd supply every need and every heart, uh, uh, God, for that one that may be here lost, uh, uh, Lord, we pray today, God, uh, uh, that you'd bring conviction down, uh, and Lord, save them uh, before they'd enter into hell. And Lord, be cast in to a lake of fire and burn forever. Oh God, we thank you for what you've done and what you promised us you will do. Have your way, God, in the service. In Jesus' name we pray. And amen and amen. Now I want to preach today on this small two letter word. Amen. If. That's what I want to preach on. Amen. If. Now, uh, the Bible said, uh, amen, that we are partakers, uh, uh, brother of Christ. Uh, amen, if we hold fast uh, at the beginning of, uh, amen, our confidence steadfast, uh, uh, brother, unto the end. Uh, now, Robert Dockery didn't write that down. Uh, amen, that ain't my idea. Uh, I'm not preaching your doctrine today. Uh, I'm not preaching your opinion today. Uh, but amen by the help of God I want to preach on some ifs amen that are in the word of God and now the Bible said that old Paul in 1 Corinthians 15 he said moreover brethren I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you he said by which brother ye are saved amen Amen. If, amen. He threw that word. Amen. If in there. And now, brother, we know that throughout the Old Testament, God would tell the children of Israel, I'll do this for you. Amen. If, brother, you'll do that. And now you can say what you want to. Amen. God is the same God. Our brother, today, that he was back then salvation has always been the same amen Jesus I didn't bring some new way he just revealed the mystery amen that had been hid from the foundation of the world you say preacher amen how do you know that well John said I amen saw
saw a lamb a slain from the foundation a brother of the world we read that by the Bible I said that Abraham he believed God and brother it was I counted unto him for righteousness I brother did he do I was God pleased with him because that he took a brother Isaac amen upon the mountain well that ain't really what it was but because Abraham I believe God he took Isaac amen upon the mountain now what did John the Baptist say he said now the axe is laid at the root of the tree and he said every tree that bringeth not forth the good fruit shall be hewn down and cast in the fire so friend today we can gather from that that if a tree is bringing forth good fruit then that is a good tree the Bible said an evil tree I can't bring forth good fruit and a good tree a brother can't bring forth amen evil fruit so if you're a good tree today then you'll have good fruit and if you're an evil tree have I got to have the Bible yet amen no sir if you're an evil tree you'll bring forth the evil fruit now friend Paul said you're saved by this gospel if you keep in memory that what I preached unto you unless you have I believed in vain and let me tell every one of you today and everybody here knows it if you if your youngins die in sin it don't matter what they said on an older five year old they're gonna go to hell amen if you die in sin it don't matter how many times you say amen that you've been saved how you'll die how many times you say that you prayed how you'll die in sin and Jesus said if you die amen in sin that where I am there you cannot come brother God has given us promises but if you'll read today most of them promises they've got that two letter word right before God gives them he said Israel if you'll separate yourself when you go into the land amen if you I will not marry their people and you'll not serve their gods if you'll do that then I'll be a father to you I'll be a God to you amen I'll be a savior to you brother there's some ifs today that are in the Bible there's some ifs today if I tell my young I say Brayden when I die you can have this and that amen if you'll do that if that's in my my will he'll never get it if he don't do what they have said and brother today I'm not preaching that how you get saved by works and you're kept by works oh no 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 but if you are saved brother you'll have something in you that'll make you want to live right and if you don't live right you will not die right and if you don't die right you will not get up right and brother if you don't get up right then where are you going to go to brother we've got today this false I mean this doctrine that says it don't matter yeah they died drunk but they went to heaven you ought to open up your Bible on the first Corinthians 6 and turn right out of your Bible and the Bible said I know ye not that the unrighteous amen shall not inherit the kingdom of God I be not deceived I neither drunkards I nor fornicators I nor idolaters I nor abusers of themselves with mankind they shall not inherit 
married at the kingdom of God. It don't matter today how much power you've seen in me, how many times you've heard me preach. If I die fornicator, how you mark her down, I'll go to hell. And man, that's what the Bible says. If I drive drunk, how you mark her down, brother, I'll go to hell. Amen, if, amen, if, amen, if you do well. And the Bible said, and that old Cain, and what did he do? He killed his own brother. And what did God say? He said, Cain, if you do well, there's that word again, if you do well, and you shall be accepted. And but if you do not well, and then sin, I lied at the door. I brother, that two-letter word, it's got a whole lot of weight. It's got a whole lot of meaning. And whenever if is there, and then brother to be, and to get what God said you'd have, you'll have to do what God I said to do. Amen. There's a lot of ifs in there, Mike. Amen. Amen. God said, you are my people. If you do well, amen, without any amazement, amen, amen, you are saved by the gospel. If you keep in memory what I preached unto you, for by grace are you saved through faith and not not of yourselves. That's exactly right. Amen. And the Bible went on to say that we are his workmanship. I created in Christ Jesus unto good works. What does that tell me? If you ain't got good works, then you're not a child of God. If you ain't living for the Bible and living for God and living by the Bible, then amen, you're not a child of God. That's amen. It used to be preached that way everywhere. And now we went off to, I went off to the cemetery. I come back dead. And now we know, yeah, amen, it's, a fun, it's funny today. Most people in your Baptist churches, amen, they'll preach on adultery until their youngins are doing it. And they'll preach on drunkenness until their youngins are doing it. And they say, yeah, ain't no way. I'm nobody can be a drunkard and be a Christian. But you wait till their uncle dies drunk. And they'll go back to that time. Amen. You telling me today. Somebody said, oh no. Ain't nobody preaching like that. I heard a man on the radio. Amen. Earlier this week. He said, you ain't got to bear fruit to be a Christian. Amen. That amen ain't no preacher. That man, that man ain't no preacher. Jesus said, if you're abiding me and I in you, ye shall bring forth much fruit. Amen. Amen. Now today, I got something that's got power to keep me. Amen. And if you get right, it'll last longer. Amen. I need deep snow. Amen. But if, amen, if, there's some ifs in the Bible, I don't believe it would. I don't believe it embarrassed him a little bit. Amen, she coming for me to tell this. Amen, I'm gonna tell it. As she come up to the tent there, I mean, she, amen, she really got something. She ain't ashamed of her Lord. Amen, come up to the tent there, or Friday, I guess it was. Amen, she's broken down. That's the way that we've got to get to. That's good, I'm so proud of her. I'm for realizing word that she needed to do something. Amen, but I, amen, I'd heard she's coming. And I thought in my mind, amen, you ever get aggravated? I mean, sis, I got aggravated with you. I just had to be honest. Amen. I mean, I told her over there. I said, how many times have you prayed? Amen. Went right back out. Amen. I said, I ain't saying you ain't never got saved. Amen. But I, amen. I wonder if you ever really got it. Because yes, I failed. Yes, I've come short. But there's always been something down inside of my soul. I to make me want to live right. I, but if I rejected that, and brother, if I went away from there, and if I hardened my 
my heart. And the Bible said, brethren, if there be any of you, I have a heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. Brother, it's happened. The shell that was washed has watered in the mire. The dog has returned to his own vomit. Jude said, be careful of them men. He said, for even the angels, amen, kept not their first estate. Amen. He said, you remember what did Jesus say? I remember Lot's wife. Hallelujah. You are saved if you keep in memory what I preached unto you. Brother, amen. You won't go to heaven living in sin. Let me throw an if at you. If you die in sin, you'll get up in sin. <laughs> Amen. I ain't been to cemetery. That's what Ed Davis called it. You ever heard one preacher that's been there and had the power of God? I ain't never heard one. Amen. Never heard one. Amen. But you've heard me brag. You've heard me brag on old Uncle Jay. Amen. He probably wouldn't know. I doubt he'd know my name on the paper. He might know his. Amen. But we felt the power of God. Amen. And God don't need all this education. Had to preach. God didn't choose them things right yonder. Amen. God didn't. He chose the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. You better be careful of them men. I'm telling you, it don't matter how you live. My brother, it matters how you live. If you die without God, you'll get up without God. Amen. If, 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 if you do well, amen, sin, or God will be pleased with you and you shall be accepted. But if you do not well, Cain, sin, life, at the door, amen, and Braden, if you stay in your Bible, if, Amen. You have your affections on things above. Yeah, but hallelujah, we can make it. Amen. If daddy, amen, stays in my Bible. If I, amen, stay with God. And amen, I'm telling you, I ain't enough devils in hell that can get me out of the hand of God. But brother, there's enough ifs in this Bible to tell me, amen, that God expects something out of us. And if you want the promises of God, you'll have to do what the ifs said amen oh Rehoboam amen he began to run after his daddy died amen he took counsel of the old men amen the old men said Rehoboam amen if you'll speak to these people amen and you'll say unto them amen if you'll say Amen, I'm going to be easier on you than my daddy was. If you'll show kindness unto him, that's that word again. Amen, I if. It's got a whole lot of weight for a little old word. And the Bible said, Amen, the ten men said to Rehoboam, if you'll do that, they'll serve you forever. Amen, well, now we like to go back to old Solomon and say, look at the promise that God gave Solomon. I will, yes, God gave God. God, God gave Solomon a promise and God gave me a promise but God put a big old if amen on that promise amen that if amen well it's got it to be saved amen there ain't no trouble in anybody believing that there's an if to be saved if thou shalt confess with thy mouth I'm the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead thou shalt shall be saved for with the heart a man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth a confession is made unto salvation so can you get saved without believing on Christ and that letter what word if it means to be saved you'll have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. Now, if right there means the same thing that it does anywhere else. Amen. To have that, you'll have to do what if said to do. Amen. 
Well, the Bible said, amen, that them young men, they come in there where Rehoboam was. They said, don't do that. Don't listen to them old men. Amen, you tell them. He say, my daddy's loins. Amen. Amen, what nothing like mine's gonna be. Amen, my daddy chastised you with whips. I'm gonna chastise you with scorpions. And the Bible said, at that old Rehoboam, do you remember the word if? What the, amen, what the old men told him. Rehoboam went out to her and he said, boys, if you thought Solomon was bad, you wait till you get a hug, get a hold of me. And what they say, they said, what right do we have in David? Every man to his tent. And they left Rehoboam that day. And God tore the kingdom from Rehoboam except for Judah and gave it to Jeroboam. Do you know why God did that? Rehoboam did not listen or do what? The word if I said to do. He said if you'll do what this says, if you'll do this, then you can have that. God said if, if, if you come my way, you can go to heaven, but if you don't, you won't make it. Amen. If there's some ifs in this thing. Amen. So Rehoboam found out and he sent men down to get levy get and tax off of them. And they stoned them men. Amen. Well, we all know about David. And David's about to die. And David, God had been with David. Amen. God had blessed David. Amen. David was a man after God's own heart. Amen. And the Bible said that David sinned. And we all know that he did. But David realized, amen, there was a God in heaven. And David had a man of God. I come to him and say, David, thou art the man. Well, David repented. And God said, I've forgiven you your sin. But the sword, I'll never leave your house. And David, amen, I knew all the judgment. I knew the punishment of God. And he had a boy named Solomon. And he said, Solomon, he said, God wouldn't let me build him a house. But he's going to raise up you to build him a house. He said, Solomon, if you will not forsake God, then God will be with you. But if you forsake God, he said, God, I will cast you out forever. Now, is that not your Bible? Go look her up. David said, Solomon, if you forsake God then God I will cast you off forever I just say preacher God will never forsake me I go the beer joint I go the whore house I go here and there I'm still saved God will never forsake you but if you forsake him he'll cast you off forever Amen Ain't going to be no getting right on judgment day. Uh, amen. Here's what everybody says. Well, amen, I know what happened to me. I know what happened to me. I know what happened to me. Well, honey, I know, how, I know if your heart's right or not today. Amen. I know. I ain't, I ain't your judge. But I can tell you, if every one of you's heart's right or not, if you're living right, then your heart's right. If you ain't living right, your heart ain't right. Amen. I know my heart, preacher. Are you sure you know your heart? That Jeremiah said, the heart of man is desperately wicked, and who can know it? Somebody said, preacher, amen, if they go backslide, and they're really saved, God will kill them. He may do it, but what if they die in sin? Amen. We use this... We use that scripture right there. I'm preaching what God laid on my heart. Amen. Amen. I'm going to be real with you today, friend. Amen. Amen. If you, amen, you think you got saved and you can blame it on everybody else, 
You can blame it on the preacher running off with this woman. You can blame it on this and that. But you ain't going to give an account for nobody else. You're giving an account for you. And if you ain't living for God, then God's going to say, what did Jesus say? He said, I'll tell you who's going in. Them that do the will of my Father. Now, do you think it's the will of God to be drunk and fornicate and lie? No, sir. I'm the only ones are going are them that do the will of God. Amen. I bit my lip and I'm a bleeding. Amen. That's all right. Amen. The Bible said, if Solomon, amen, if Solomon, Solomon, if, you'll do what God tells you to do. They will use this, they use this scripture right here. And they say, if any man defile the temple, him shall God destroy. I believe that. That's what the Bible says. Do you want to know how God destroys the body? What did Jesus say? He said, fear not man who can destroy the power to destroy your body, but rather fear God who will destroy both body and soul. Amen. Not in the hospital bed. Amen. Not with cancer. Amen. Not with, not with hepatitis. He'll destroy both body and soul in hell. In hell. In hell. Now, brother, there's some ends to the Word of God. Amen. Bunch of rotten doctrine. Amen. It, years ago, they knew the drunkard wasn't going. But I mean, Brain likes that song. Let the church roll on. I told him, I said, you're singing revival sometimes. Amen. Well, the preacher, got a preacher in the church, and he won't do right. What shall we do? Turn him out, kick him out. Let the church roll on. Amen. That's what that's why they used to do it. Amen. Deacon and church don't do right. Take his name off the roll. Amen. Amen. Oh, that old song. Amen. Amen today. That's just the way the standard was. Amen. All them years ago. But man, now if you're lost today, ain't nobody expect you to get do right. Ain't nobody expect you to live right. You've got to be born again. But if you are sad, claiming to be saved and claim to have your name enrolled in the book of life and you ain't living right, I've got every right in the world to call you out in front of everybody. Amen. Call you a hypocrite. And brother, if you won't do right, it's time for me to put you down the road. That's what the Bible teaches. Brother, there's some ifs. If you'll do well, if you'll do well, then God will accept you. Amen. But what's that mean? If you don't. If you don't. If you don't. You give it 20, you give it 10 years. You give it 20 years. Some of these churches around here, they'll have, they'll have gay boys and lesbian girls and they'll be saying, well, I seen them pray when they was five years old. Amen. I seen them pray when they was five years old. Amen. That's a damnable doctrine. That's straight out of hell. Amen. To say somebody can live in sin and get up, amen, and go down in sin and get up with God. Now you'll never do it. You'll never do it. You'll never do it. And brother, amen, you'll have to take out a whole lot of ears if that's the right way. Amen. Well, amen, David dies. Solomon goes on. And what did God tell Solomon? He said, Solomon, amen. He said, if you'll do right and you'll be with me. What did God tell the Jew? He told him through, the, through Solomon, if you'll do right. If you'll do right. Now them people over there in Israel today, they can get right the same way that I got right. But to say that God, amen. Now, amen. Now, why, 
Why throughout all the time would God lead them into captivity and when they go against God, amen, that God would bring judgment on them and God would say, I ain't going to bless you no more. But now all of a sudden here, amen, amen, here in the last hundred years, God really don't care what Israel does. He don't care if they spit on crosses. He don't care if they're anti-Christ. He's amen. He's still going to bless them. My brother, God won't bless me over sin. God won't bless them over sin. God won't bless nobody over sin. Amen. I may cross somebody today. Amen. But you take a Bible. You show me where I'm wrong. Amen. He said, Solomon, Solomon. Amen. If you'll obey me, they'll never. Now there's an if right there. If you'll obey me, there's an. He said, there will never, never fail a man to sit on your throne. Well, did he obey God? Amen. Has a lot of our church obeying God, our churches today? Amen. Them over in the Middle East, are they obeying God? Amen. That's God. Amen. I agree with you. That's God's people. Amen. That's the apple of God's eye. But you know who the Israel of God is? Read over in Galatians. Paul makes it pretty clear. They ain't no bond. They ain't no free. They ain't no Jew. They ain't no Greek. But there is an Israel of God. Amen. That is the church of the living God. Amen. Amen. We've been grafted into the tree. Some of them broken off. Let me give you another if. I'm going to try to close. The Bible said, Amen. Behold, therefore, talking about them tree, that tree that was broken off, them branches broken off. Behold, therefore, at the goodness and severity of God. He said severity toward them which fail. At the goodness toward thee. All right, here it is. Amen. If thou continue in his goodness. And God said otherwise. What's that mean? If you don't continue in me, I'll cut you off just like I cut them off. Amen. Now that's the King James Bible. Amen. We can change it. Amen. Try to twist it around. But Peter talked about them. He said they rest the scriptures. They twist them unto their own destruction. Amen. If a man adds to the book, that's an if. Then, it's funny how all them ifs that bring bad things, we look at them as ifs. But them ifs that bring good things, we say, oh no, there ain't nothing we can do to get away from that. Amen. Well, if we're going to look at it like that, then ain't nothing you can do away, to get away from the, from the judgment. Amen. Of having plagues added to you. If, if you add anything to this book, then he said, the plagues of this book shall be added unto you. And if, if a man shall take out any part of this book, then his part shall be taken out of the holy city and of the book of life. Amen. Hey, Moses, what did Moses tell God? He said, God, if you'll go with us, then I want to go. But if you don't go with me, then I don't want to go. How Moses gave God an if. And you know what, old God, you know what God told old Moses? I believe, oh, I believe God looked at him and said, Moses, I'll go with you. If you'll go with me, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll be with you all the way. Amen. If, if, that's a little old word, not a whole lot of weight. If, if, well, amen. Jesus told the Pharisees, I'm trying to close. He said, Amen. If you believe not that I am He, you shall die in your sins. And where I am, there. You cannot come. Amen. No, James, he said, he said, you believe there's one God? He said, you're doing good. I believe old James being sarcastic. He said, but the devils, amen, the devils, amen, believe and tremble. It ain't enough to believe with your head. It's believing in your heart that'll do it. 
And if you'll believe in your heart that God, that God has raised him from the dead, amen, that God will save you. What's God save you from when he saves you? Amen. What's he save you from? Does the Bible say he saves you from hell? That ain't what the Bible says. Does the Bible say he saves you from judgment? That ain't what the Bible says. He saves his people from their sin. And if you're saved from sin, then you don't have to go to hell. Amen. But God didn't save you from hell. He saved you from your sin. And because he saved you from your sin, you don't have to go to hell. And I said that to say this. If you're still in sin, you'll have a hard time convincing me or God on judgment day that God saved you from your sins. If my youngin is in the water drowning, and I save him from the water, what do I do? I pull him up out of the water. I wouldn't go up there and say, all right, son, get up out of there and leave him in the water. God pulled me out of it, Mike. God pulled me out. And brethren, take heed, take heed, take heed. For if you don't take heed, lest, that's what that means. If you don't take heed, there may be an evil heart in you and of unbelief in departing from the living God. Amen. Amen. God said God said by the words of the apostle Paul, he said if I deny if said if we deny him, he shall also deny us. Ain't that what this Bible said? If we deny him, he shall also deny us. So, when the busybody amen comes to me and the family does and says and they probably won't. Amen. But if they come to me, I've had people tell me I was going to preach their funeral. And they didn't put no if on that. But I made them mad. And you're going to find out when they die that there was, there was, there was obviously an if on that. <laughs> amen. Just because, amen, just because God didn't put an if in between and in certain verses, if you read the whole Bible and take the whole context of the Bible, you'd have to be ignorant and unlearned and not have the Holy Ghost to say there ain't no if on some of these promises. Amen. Amen. You think God is going to give his promises to a disobedient and gainsaying people? He said, I've stretched forth my hand all the day. I could preach till, tw- till noon or in the 12 tonight, I mean. Amen. I'm telling you, it's false doctrine. It's false doctrine. It's false doctrine. Amen. I talked to a man the other day, and I, I love him. I do. I love him to death. I, he's good. Amen. I've been around him, and I'd never slander him in no way. Amen. But he said, he said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call. I ain't gonna call his name out. But he said, I know you preach again. I know you, pre- you preached on me one day. He said, I, I listened to your radio broadcast. He said, because you, you mentioned you talked to a man and, amen, and baptized somebody shacked up. Amen. And, amen. And he said, I agree. I shouldn't have done that. Amen. I shouldn't have done that. But I'll have to give him credit. Amen. For years and years and years. Amen. He had, he had a family member. And amen. He'd always say they're saved. Shacked up. Doing drugs. Alcohol. Drinking all this. Said, oh yeah, we've seen them get saved. The other day. He said, now they're lost. Amen. Well, I'm going to have to give him credit for realizing that. But it ain't going to. I'm going to tell you one thing. Lest my young unless my youngin really gets deceived. And I believe he got something. I believe he got something real. Something that will keep him. But amen. If he gets out in sin. Amen. Everything that's been preached to him. There'll never be a day. And he thinks he's right unless some backslid dog convinces him otherwise. Amen. All that I had preached to me. Amen. Amen. I had it preached to me and I was a sinner. And there was never a time in my life that I thought I was going to heaven when I was having sin. And you know why that was? Somebody preached me the truth. Amen. Amen. I remember the first time I told you I could, I could preach all day. I remember the first time. Amen. Y'all getting tired? Amen. I ain't. I may look like it. I may be sweating. Amen. But I feel that refreshing from the Lord. Amen. I remember the first time I heard that rotten thing. Amen. I remember the first time I heard that rotten doctrine. Amen. We was going to, we was going to church and this woman, 
Amen. She come in. I, I mean, just as a young boy, I guess I was 10 or 11, maybe 12. Amen. And I, this woman, she said, now all them old preachers, they used to preach that you backslide and you get out of the way. Amen. Do this and do that. And Amen. She said, now I just don't believe that you can do that. And I, I was lost. Amen. I was lost. And I, looked, and I thought to myself, I told my mother when we got in the car, I said, I said, what in the world is she talking about? I'd never heard that before. I said, what in the world does she mean you can't? I mean, I thought she meant, when somebody said that to me, and me 11, 12 year old, I thought she meant you'd be perfect. Hey Amen. I thought she meant you'd never sin. But you know what's even crazier to me? The fact that she thought you could live in sin and go to heaven. Amen. If that's the case, God's a liar. If that's the case, I'll tear some of my Bible out. Drunkards ain't going. Fornicators ain't going. What preacher was they ever saved to start with? It really don't matter. <laughs> Amen. Amen. People get it. People argue over this and that. Well, preacher, they really wasn't saved. It don't matter if they saved or not. If they're living in sin, they're lost without God. Amen. Amen. It don't matter how they got there. They're there and they need to be born again. Amen. Well, amen. I can remember sitting at a restaurant. Is this all right? I remember sitting at a restaurant. Amen. And I was seeing a, I was seeing a girl. I just, maybe I was still in high school, maybe just graduated. I don't remember. But she was working at this restaurant. Some of y'all have heard me tell this. Some of y'all ain't. I'm going to tell it again. I was sitting over at Garney. I was sitting there at the table. Now, me and her was fornicating. Amen. I was a liar. I didn't go to church. Amen. I had, I had a preacher ask me one time. There was a time in my life, and I got under good old time, heart, amen, Holy Ghost preaching as a young boy, and I heard Jay, and amen, these men preach. And there was a time, amen, amen, I didn't, always, I didn't grow up in a house that's real strict. And there was a time as a young boy, amen, we didn't go to church. Amen, we didn't go to church. And we, amen, when, when mom decided she's gonna get back in church, amen, we, we went up to the church that's closest to us. And brother, I don't know what it is now. Finally, they got with that, rid of that woman pastor. Amen. Amen. But I'm a, everybody looks at the United Methodist and say look at what they did with the homosexuals. It didn't start with the gay men and the lesbian woman. It started and they let women get up and be a pastor of a church. Amen. I'd go down there and preach this to them today if they'd let me do it. Amen. Amen. I was one of their members. I still in pharmacy school. I'm going to tell you, honor God. You put God first. God, if, 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 if you'll do that, God will bless you. I was in pharmacy school and God had called me to preach. And I, I, I love the people there. And some of them don't live maybe two miles from me. And I, I always taught a lot of them. And I, I seen them outside one day as I was traveling. I was going down the road and I stopped there and I talked to them. And they even come to my ordination service. And... And I, I, I stopped there and I talked to him and I was talking about, I said, yeah, I got offered a job in Martinsville, but I was going to work Sundays. I got offered a job, I was going to move and God's put me here and I got offered this job and I was going to work Sundays all the time. Now, if you've got to, amen, amen, that's one thing. Amen, but to say, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna volunteer for this and volunteer for that. Amen, where in the world is your heart at? Amen, amen, Ryan used to have to. And amen, he had a desire to be in the house of God. Amen, if you've got to, I ain't a beating you down over the head. Amen, I know, and amen, there's got to be people at the hospital to do it. Amen, if somebody has a car wreck, I understand that. Amen, there's some things that are necessary. There's some things, brother, that people do it because they just don't love God. Amen. If your ox is in the ditch, you got to get him out. Amen, all right, I'm trying to close Amen, but I said, I said, I didn't want that. I want something. Amen. Amen, I went for two years or, th or more, sometimes not knowing if I was going to work a day in a week. Because all I was doing was working when people called me. 
But I said, God, I'm going to honor you and I'm going to put you first. And I, amen, I was working in a place and I got off at 6, amen, 5.30 on Wednesdays. Amen, and God, God was, I mean, I was preaching revivals and I was having to go, I mean, eat a pack of nabs on the way to revival for my supper and change shoes and going down the road, tie my necktie going down the road, amen, drive my knees, amen, try to, and they'd do everything good to get to our own time. I said, Lord, I'd like to have, I'd like to have something where I can go hold a revival. Anytime, Lord, you put it on my heart, anytime, God, you want me to go, I'm gonna tell you, friend, if you'll honor God, if you'll seek, amen, seek ye first of the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things, they shall be added unto you. There wasn't no if before that, but brother, it's understood. Amen. What if you don't seek him first? He ain't going to add it to you. And I told him, I said, I didn't want that job. That man said, well, now you've got to do what you've got to do. And I thought, oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I've got to obey the Lord. and He'll do what he said he'd do. If, if, amen, he's able to supply all my needs. Amen. <laughs> I've never I've never went without <laughs> God's blessed me today Amen I, th- I, I thank the Lord all the time I ought to thank Him more than I do God's put me somewhere Amen I mean I've got some I don't know of another I don't know of another I don't know of another drugstore in all of America I could do what I'm doing <laughs> take off two weeks and go to Missouri and hold a revival no questions asked. I don't know. God's been good to me. <laughs> Amen. What have I done for Him? I ain't done nothing. Amen. But I've tried to do what He said. Out your, I've tried to keep Him ifs. And He told me to keep. I've tried to keep Him ifs and do what He said. Amen. I know I've been long-winded today. Amen. But if, 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 that's a small little word. That's a small word. Oh, but it has a whole lot of weight. God will not bless you. Now let me let me let me let me clear something up. God has blessed every lost person. And they, amen. He's blessed them over their sin to be not to be in hell. God even let the Spirit of God come down on Saul. And just because you feel the power of God every now and then, that don't mean you ain't living in sin. But as far as getting the blessings of going to heaven and getting to live with God forever. God won't let you do that over sin. God will not, will not, will not let you die in sin and go to heaven. Amen. God will destroy this body in hell. In hell. Solomon, if you'll do what I told you to do, there'll never be a man. There'll never fail a man to sit on your throne. What if Solomon don't do what Solomon do? Solomon made a house for Pharaoh's daughter. Solomon began to, amen. I, I mean, y'all, y'all have heard me preach about Solomon going, going astray how many times? Amen. But Solomon's a good example. Amen. And you'll, amen, you'll, you'll, never, you'll never convince me, oh, Solomon made it. Get over in Hebrews. Samson made it. Samson was in the hall of faith. Samson made it. Jephthah made it. Amen. Uh, Gideon made it. David made it. Amen. Saul didn't make it. <laughs> Saul didn't make it. Sam, uh, Sam, uh, amen. Solomon didn't make it. Amen. Why? He loved many strange women. And they turned his heart away from God. Amen. Preacher, I believe he got, I believe he's right. No matter what he did, you can believe what you want to. Wisest man that ever lived will be in the hall of faith in Hebrews. Wisest man that ever lived will be in the hall of faith if he's right. But what did God say? If you're ashamed of me, as God, you reckon God's ashamed of Solomon? If you be ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Amen. You go out there and you live in sin, God's ashamed of you. Amen. God's ashamed of you. But if you'll, if you'll serve the Lord and love God with all your heart, that God will be pleased with you. There's an if right there. And Solomon loved many strange women. And just like, amen, just like his daddy did before him. He saw what, he saw what adultery would do. He saw what strange women would do. But the difference in daddy and Solomon is daddy repented. Amen. David never had a lot of what Solomon had. But so I wonder if it's Solomon's riches. And I wonder if it's the queen of Sheba coming down and bragging on him. And all these men from all over the earth. They came to hear old Solomon and marvel at his wisdom. 
And I wonder if old Solomon said, well, I'm all right. I'm all right. Some of them, some of them backslid prophets, they said in the days that they was down in Babylon, they said, God said, God said, God said, he's, he's going to bring you out of here. And what did, what did Isaiah and Ezekiel and Jeremiah say? He said, God never said no such thing. God's brought you down here because you backslid and because you're a backsliding heifer and because God's not pleased with you and God's going to bring judgment on you and God's going to let your temple be torn down and God let the temple be built back and brother and then amen a few years after the Lord died when he said not one stone shall be left upon another then brother the stones of the temple fell down and what did Jesus say he said amen he said if you've seen the father or seen me you've seen the father he was the Messiah he was the king of kings but brother they rejected him and because they rejected him he brought judgment on God God's people. And do you think he'd not do the same for you? Amen. If, 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 if. Amen. I know. Amen. I know today that, amen, the world, the worldly, the worldly church, most of our churches, most of our big denominations in the, in the United States, they preach this junk. Yeah. They preach it don't matter. Don't matter, amen, don't matter how you live. Why some of them, they've, they're openly for homosexuality. What's worse? Let me ask you something. Amen, I'm just talking now. What's worse? Going to a church that believes that everything's all right? Going to a church that is openly in the, in the gay pride march? And I mean, why you? I mean, that's obvious that they ain't right. Or going to one of them that preaches against sin. But when little Tommy and Susie gets in it, why? Well, I mean, they're saved. <laughs> Which one's worse? Amen. Which one's worse? <laughs> Amen. Damnable, damnable heresies. Bringing in, that's what they did. They brought in damnable heresies. That's what Peter said. Amen. He said, they promise you liberty. Ain't that what they're doing today? But they have eyes full of adultery that cannot cease from sin. That two little word, if, if you'll obey God, if you'll do this, when there's an if attached to it, you'll have to do what God said to get the results. When there's an if attached to it, you'll have to, and the only way you can obey God, let me tell you the only way to please God, it's impossible without faith to please God. So today as Brother Ryan comes and gets a song, amen, I don't know why God laid this on my heart, Amen. God had done laid it on my heart. And I heard that I heard that old dumb dog on the on the radio preaching about how that, amen, you ain't got to bear fruit to go to heaven. And that just that just poured gas on the far for me. That right there is that amen, that is rotten. That's rotten. Jesus said, if you don't bring forth hey, I've heard people say now John wasn't talking about the far. He's talking about the different far. He's talking about different far. Talking about this. No, he wasn't talking about no different far. Amen. God, the Bible means what it says. Says what it means. If you don't abide in the truth, what did Paul say? If you abide in the ship, and I know he wasn't talking about salvation, but it's the same way today. You'll have to stay in the house where the blood's at to go to heaven. Amen. So I wonder if there's anybody else. Amen. Emily, I didn't do that to embarrass you for nothing. Amen. A lot of people's going to have to get something real. Go off and get something real. So today, with every head bowed and every eye closed, as Brother Ryan sings, is there somebody else that'd like to come to this altar? Somebody else? Now I'll tell you what you're going to do, friend. You're going to walk out of here and you're going to justify yourself. Say, yeah, I've done this, I've done that, but I know I got saved. <laughs> you need to tell God you did because He says you didn't. He says you didn't by the book. And I don't believe God's wrong. So today, is there somebody else that come like to make sure that they're right with God? You will not live in sin, friend. You might, you might, have, been to the, you might have went to church all your life. You're here every Sunday. Amen. You, you get up and sing. But if you let sin in your life, you think God is going to be pleased with you? He ain't going to do it. He ain't going to be, he ain't going, he ain't going to be pleased with you. He's, he's got a bride that's spotless, a bride that's white, washed white with the blood. Amen. That's his bride. His bride ain't a drunk. His bride ain't a whore. 
His bride ain't a whoremonger. His bride, ain't, amen, ain't a fornicator. His bride ain't a liar. His bride, amen, is not lascivious. His bride is not covetous. His bride is pure and holy. And without holiness, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. So let me throw an if in there. If you don't have holiness, what's that mean? You ain't going to see Him. If you do have holiness, and the only way you can have it is by the blood of Jesus Christ and through this book. So today, friend, is there somebody here that'd like to come pray that's lost without God? You say, preacher, I can't live it. I know you can't. No, ain't no way you can in your flesh. But there's a God in heaven that'll put His, put His Holy Spirit in you when you get born again. And he'll make you, he'll give you something that'll, he'll give you something that'll take you. I believe in a God that'll keep you now. I preach a God that'll keep you. He will. He's got the power to keep you. Amen. But to say a man can walk right off from God, live in sin, and go to heaven, that is not right. It's not the Bible. It's not in the Bible. People take liberties with the Bible and get that. There's scripture in there about being secure in the Lord. You're secure in Him. You ain't secure out of Him. <laughs> you ain't secure outside of him. You're secure in the house. So today, for him, will you come? Will you come? Anybody? Anybody else want to come? Please, right now, God is dealing with you. Would you come right now? Please don't die and go to hell. Please don't leave here without God. Somebody else. We need conviction. We need the truth preached. And we need some of these men that ain't preaching it to start preaching it. And they not have, they not have a, the girl get up to play the piano, shacked up, not think nothing wrong with it. The preacher won't have to know about it. There'll be enough conviction on them that they'd say, I ain't going to get up there and pray, play it. But it ain't like that now. Just come any old way. Don't matter how you live, we're going to use you in the church. I'd like to have a house full of drunks. I ain't going to ask one of them to sing, though. <laughs> Amen. There ought to be enough power and conviction in the house of God that sin, no people know sin's wrong. Somebody else today, right now, right now, right now, I'm not going to tarry. Right now, will you come? Right now, friend, will you come? Don't turn, don't turn God away. Don't turn God away. It's a serious thing. It's a serious thing. If you realize you're lost, you're a lot better off than a lot of people. But there's something you've got to do about it. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth, you're going to have to come to Him. That's the if. Somebody, Somebody need to come? Somebody need to pray? Anybody?